but honestly, who could be more honest? Hey guys, it's the Honest Goddess, and today we'll be reviewing this wig by Bobby Boss. It's the Yara wig, right? And I usually don't wear wigs that much, but I was looking for a more mature wig, less thotty wig, right, to get. And I saw this wig all over YouTube, um, and it was also only $37 plus shipping on Amazon, which was a really good deal, right? I'll leave the link in the description box down below if you guys want to slay. So I'll be doing the unboxing, my initial review, and my final kind of review on this wig. So let's get into the video. Okay, so this is me unboxing the wig. As I said, I did get it from Amazon. And that's pretty much all that came in the box, nothing really. Um, I did get this hair in 1B, even though the girl is showing like blue hair. That's definitely not what I got. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so I did get it in 1B, and the wig just came with some netting and some foam. Just to keep it in place. And here I'm going to show you the lace, how it looked straight out of the box, and pretty much the inside as well. So I'm going to show you how breathable it was. My nails were literally going through the netting. That's how thin and light it was. Yeah. Okay, so here I am with my two braids, just putting on the wig straight out of the box. Um, it was super sleek when I put it on, no tangles at all. And the lace was pretty dark, and it wasn't too bone straight, but it was straight enough. Okay, so this is the lace before I cut it or did anything to it. And pretty much I just cut all of the lace at the front, and I took it all off. Okay, so I also put concealer on the middle part inside the wig just because it was too dark for me and I wanted it to blend in perfectly. So this is what it looked like before I did anything to the lace, after I cut it, and after I put the concealer on. So pretty much after that, I just flat ironed the unit until it was bone straight and smooth. And the last thing I did was just darken some of the lace with a sharpie just because if the wind blowed I didn't want people to see the lace I wanted them just to see my hair <laughs> and this is what the wig looked like after I was done everything nice and flat on my head no tangles the ends were nice and straight And the lace blended in perfectly. Okay, so this is what the wig looked like afterwards. So pretty much here you can see me putting it on and yikes, this looks so bad. But yeah, so first I tried to brush it out just to see if that would have made a difference. So I brushed out all of the wig just to get all the tangles out because I could not run my finger through it at all. So this is what it looked like when it was brushed out, still super thick at the end and not as flat as it was before. So I flat ironed it all over and it did take longer this time because some pieces I did have to go over like two, three times just to make sure that the ends were super, super, super thin. Okay, so on the right hand side you can see that that's the flat iron side and the other side the left hand side is just brushed out so you can see what a big difference flat ironing the hair again does make it looks super super thin on the right not so thin on the left okay so as you can see it didn't last that long after about three days it did get really thick at the ends and very tangly which was very annoying because i pretty much had to be 
brushing it constantly and I had to end up re flat ironing it again. When I did flat iron it, it did go back to being very smooth and I could run my fingers through it like this again, right? But it was just really inconvenient. Like I like to put it on and go, but now I have to literally flat iron it every time I put it on. Put it on. To be honest, I give this wig a three out of five stars. I should have probably watched more reviews and gotten the style in human hair instead of synthetic. So obviously I didn't like the tangles, I didn't like how thick it got at the end, and I didn't like how dark the lace was. But if you want to slay for one day, for one event, or even for a week if you don't mind flat ironing it every single day, I would definitely get this wig because I love the style. At first, I did think it was going to be too blunt, but actually, it's just right. Um, I also love how light it is. Like this wig. <laughs> so light. Like, I usually don't like wearing wigs because after an hour or two, I get a headache because it's so tight or so heavy. This was perfect. Like, I feel like this is my hair. <laughs> like, this is on my head. Like, I know I bought it, but like, I feel like it's growing on my scalp, right? Um, I also loved how thin and how flat it was. It doesn't look bulky at all. And I do have two braids under this, but you wouldn't know. You think my hair is braided down flat, but no, it's super flat, super thin, super lightweight, which is amazing. Honestly, I'd probably wear this wig three or four more times until I can't bother with the ends, but I definitely want to get this hair style the style wig and human hair so if you guys know of where i can get that please comment below so we can slay together because i love this wig <laughs> but i didn't like the ends but thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i just want to tell everyone happy holidays and i'll see you in 2018